There's a really easy way to get exotic components that you can do over and over passively while just playing the game. Not many people know about it, but it's been there hiding from you in plain sight. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it. And if you don't know, now you know. Recently, I showed you how to get 64 exotics every week guaranteed without RNG. These methods were recently added or upgraded as part of the Project Resolve revamp we received in Season 3, Title Update 20. This method I'm sharing with you today is not. In fact, it's not new and apparently doesn't even officially exist. An explanation is due, buckaroo. I'll explain. This is the Dodge City Gunslinger's exotic holster. It comes with weapon damage, handling, and headshot damage. The talent is called Quick Draw. While your pistol is holstered, you gain a stack buff up to 1000% and deals headshot damage to anywhere you hit. If you miss, you have to start all over. That sounds nice, but if you know anything about the quest to get this exotic, you'd say hell no. Totally not worth it. If you search how to get the Dodge City holster, you're gonna get very consistent answers from dozens of sources, but they're all four years old and now incorrect. The short of it all is you had to go to this lady by this blueprint to own the quest. Then you took over the Riverside gas station to get the fast leather belt. Once you completed that, you unlocked the next phase where you fought these three factions, each presenting a boss wearing a cowboy hat. Kill them and they drop an exotic component. Once you got all three, you head to the showdown at High Noon Saloon to acquire and donate the holster rind item. Once you were done, you could craft your holster. Now, it seems none of those steps are involved. The quest got much, much easier, and you can do it as many times as you like, even if you already own the holster. I already own the holster. I've had it for years. I did the original quest and enjoyed it, but I wouldn't do it again just for an exotic component. That'd be nuts. It took a while, and I've been testing the steps for the last several weeks. You do have to buy the quest from Anaya still. You don't have to go to the Riverside gas station anymore. You don't have to donate parts to progress to the next phase anymore either, and you don't have to fight all three factions as well. And you definitely don't have to do the showdown at High Noon Saloon anymore. It's someone's lucky day. So when I mean this quest got simple, I mean basic. It goes like this, own the quest, fight control points to eliminate bosses, bosses drop exotic components designated for the holster, collect all four, head to the crafting bench, ta-da. Simple, right? Almost too simple. You should probably screenshot that, humans. So once you have all your components, it's pretty easy from there. So just head over to the crafting station and then head down to holsters. It shows that you have all the exotic components or the parts you need to craft this, including some protective fabric. Now it shows that I'm missing two things and those are pretty easy. We're gonna handle that right now. But we're missing a Providence holster and a Petrov holster as well. So you can just craft any random one of those. So here's a Petrov. So we're gonna go ahead and craft that and that'll take care of that requirement. And I'll go ahead and mark it as junk. And then let's head down to Providence. Do the same thing. Wait, that's wrong. I don't have the option to craft Petrov or Providence. Blueprints to craft, that means you need to get back out there and fight more control points. By taking all control points, you unlock all your blueprints. It's pretty much that easy. We just donated the two high-end holsters that we recently crafted, and now we're going to craft the Dodge City holster. And there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and mark this one for junk so we know that's junk. And if you go back in here, you'll notice that I can't craft it. So if you have the holster on your character or in your stash, the project will say you have it crafted and the project won't be open. But if you move the holster out of your stash and onto another character, the project will open again. Of course, you don't need two of these exotic holsters. So each time you craft a new one, you deconstruct it for the exotic component. So because I deleted it, it no longer says that I have it crafted. That's because it's no longer on my character. And the one that I've had for years is also not in my stash. Just to be thorough, I'll show you that it's on my other character. Okay, I think it's on this character. Yeah, okay, here we are. And this is my extra character. And there's my original Dodge City holster. It's favorited. As you can see in the past, I have optimized it fully. And as long as I have it on this character, then my main character doesn't detect it and thinks that I don't have the holster. When it comes to getting the exotic components, it seems as though RNG is involved. There will not be any dudes with cowboy hats, so don't be looking for them. Darn, right? I'm sure you were looking to bag yourself a cowboy, cowboy. Each control point presents two named bosses, and both these guys have a chance to drop the components for you. And which component they drop also seems to be random. I farmed the components for three hours in a single session to analyze the behavior of the drops. I did the method of three different faction control points, and I did a two-hour session 
just farming a single faction. The good news is that the drop rate is very high. I'd estimate around 25% chance of it dropping. It wasn't unusual to see it drop back to back on back to back clears of the same control point. On average, I received a component every five to 10 minutes. I have so many questions. So do you have to fight all three factions or not? The answer is no, you do not. First of all, there are four parts and there are only three factions, the Black Tusk aren't included. That means one faction needs to drop two parts. That's where RNG comes in now. The bad news is that it's possible for you to get duplicate drops, receiving an exotic component you have already gathered, but it doesn't seem to be as frequent as you would think. So couldn't I just farm one faction for all four parts? Well, it might be possible, but I am not able to confirm this for sure. You see, I farmed the true sons for two hours and got three out of four of the required parts pretty quickly within that session. But then I kept going and I got a ton of duplicates from there. As soon as I switched to the outcast faction, I got two drops back to back. One was a dupe and the second one was the final part. So within 10 minutes, I had everything I needed to craft again. I don't know if that was just RNG, luck or what. Let's chalk it up to or what? You're not that lucky. So for now, I recommend farming at least two of the three factions, just in case. If anybody has gotten all four components from a single faction, please report. Hey, so why can't I see my Dodge City components on any of my mules? So it seems as though exotic components related to quests are attached to the character. And my exotic components related to quests aren't crossing over. I have some Nemesis parts and some Ridgeway's Pride parts, exotic components, that you're not seeing on this character. So if you go to Anaya, there's nothing there. If you go over here and try to craft a holster, it's locked. But it says Anaya has a project for you to unlock that, yet there's no blueprint here. And that's because we already owned a blueprint on the account. But basically, every time time I create a new mule or extra character, that blueprint is available to buy. And so I did buy it when I created this character, which was just about a week ago. It's a brand new character. And it's still saying that I haven't bought it. And so that probably means the quest can only be accessed from one of your accounts. And I guess that would be the main one. I don't get it. I have the quest. How come I haven't been getting the exotic components this whole time? Whether you own the Dodge City holster or not, and if it's on another character, you may not realize that you have the ability to recraft the Dodge City holster because you've been sitting on those components. They might already be in your inventory collected in the past over time, but once you have them in your inventory, they're not gonna drop again, especially when you have all four. So once you craft it and then delete it or move the exotic off of your character, it's gonna continue to drop those exotic components again. Does that make sense? So I have a recommendation for you. Because RNG is involved and there's not a guaranteed component on every single control point that you tackle, I recommend making this more of like a passive, ongoing and regular activity. A good chunk of the community spends a good portion of their time in the open world for general gameplay and farming because there's lots of resources and just really good engagement. And it's also the best spot to do XP farming in the game outside of some PVP events. So I recommend you keep your Dodge City whole on one of your other characters, a mule, and just continue to farm and just keep track of where you're at on this project. And as soon as you get all four components, which you can do in a single day or a couple of days, then come back to the crafting bench, craft it, deconstruct it, and then start all over. But I don't really recommend you go after this head on because if you do, you're gonna be leaning into that RNG. It's gonna take you about an hour, an hour 15 of control point farming to get all of your exotic components, roughly. It could happen a little bit faster. It could even take a little bit longer. Longer. But my point is that makes it not the most efficient exotic component farm in the game. Countdown alone is faster than this, giving you at least one exotic every 40 minutes, if not two, depending on circumstances. And so if you're looking to farm like back-to-back -back exotic components, you're better off just going into countdown. Of you're spinning me in circles here. Are you telling me to do this or not? You should definitely not ignore this. Every week, just based on the control points that you're clearing, you'll probably be able to craft two, three, four, five Dodge City holsters every single week. And so what I do suggest is you just look at this as one of your additional projects. So we have the daily project, the weekly project, the summit, SHD project, the legendary. So just make this part of your routine more like a daily project or every other day, I guess. Just depends on how much time you spend in the open world. But since each fact, 
faction, the outcasts, the hyenas, and the true sons have a chance to drop these components. The only content that won't will be the invaded and legendaries. And I'm sure you're spending time fighting those other factions. So you're probably collecting these components. And just so you know, you can do this with other exotic crafting projects too. And they all work kind of the same too, I would say, where you don't necessarily want to use them as a primary method of farming exotic components. But since you're doing the content anyways, you might as well enjoy the extra exotic component. So Ridge Race Pride, for example, when you go from zero to 100, as long as you don't have that Ridge Race Pride chest piece on your character when you're doing that or inside your stash, so if it's on your extra, then you're going to get those exotic components for Ridge Race Pride. So over time, every now and again, you're going to cash in on that Ridge Race Pride chest. And you might not be doing the summit a lot, but either way, it's an option. And you can do it with the Chatterbox, you can do it with the Nemesis, and you can do it with the D50. I personally haven't done it with those. For one, I always have the Nemesis on me, so I'm not getting the components to drop. But one day I do plan on figuring out how to get those in my routine. Is it me? Or does it feel like every time you watch a Tux video, he gives us another project? Exactly what I needed. Thank you for hanging out with me today. My name is Tuxedo Bandito. That's Tito Bandito. It's me. And this was another episode of The Division 2. If you found this video helpful, subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to ensure you don't miss out on the fantastic experiences waiting for you in The Division 2. And if you like builds like this, check out the recommended video I have here for you. If you have anything you want to see covered, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And thank you to all the channel members and donors who make everything possible. Tux Nation wouldn't be without you. Follow me. I get it.